Wait till you see what we got planned for you today. You guys, it's here. The 40 watt laser engraver, the Creality Falcon. But can it cut through three quarter inch wood and six millimeter acrylic in one pass? Stay tuned to find out. We have some really cool giveaways coming later in the video, so stay tuned for that. A lot of exciting stuff in this video, so let's get to it. While we set up this incredible laser engraver, I'm gonna go over the key features and specifications. The Creality Falcon comes pre-assembled, which greatly reduces setup time. It comes with adjustable legs to adjust the height of the machine. This is great if you're working with larger objects. The honeycomb grill is sold separately and I highly recommend getting it because it really makes a difference when you're using the machine to cut different materials. The new integrated air assist is automatically adjusted through light burn or you can manually adjust it on the side of the machine. The air assist is key to making really clean cuts and detailed engraving. The 40 watt laser head offers incredible strength. It can cut 0.15 millimeter stainless steel and 30 millimeter acrylic in one pass. Stay tuned to see if it can cut three quarter inch wood in one pass. The laser has an adjustable light beam that ranges from small to large to suit your needs. The Creality Falcon can work at speeds up to 25,000 millimeters per minute, which is great for batch productions. With two times faster speeds, it offers high performance to maximize your output. The Creality Falcon 2 has five important safety features to keep things running smoothly. The triple monitor systems let you know when there are issues with the lens, airflow, or if there's a fire. And just like that, you guys, we are ready to plug and play. Today, we are getting creative with Creality. All right, we just finished setting up the laser. We're just doing the last final touches to get it running, and then we're gonna test it out. So, exciting stuff ahead. First up, we gotta set the height of the laser, and Creality includes this little guide, which makes it really quick and easy. All right, you guys know what time it is. It's game time. So we're gonna set everything up real quick, run a test to make sure everything's working before we get to the exciting stuff. So. Just have this nice text right here, Pacific Pines Ranch. Classic. So we are just gonna run it and make sure everything's good. It's good that we have two uh, glasses. Now. Let's roll. Wow, already with the first test, uh, we notice a difference in the power and the speed. It's incredible. I lowered the settings to 50% and uh, it already cut out the text that I wrote. I wasn't sure if it would do it in one pass. It did, no problem. So I'll just have to remember that going forward that it's super powerful. Okay, let's check it out. Check, check, check it out, check it out. Oh, wow. Pretty sweet. 
Oh my gosh, the little letters already fell out. <laughs> wow. This is great. This is great. Oh my Look god, tiny little rooms. Pacific Pines Ranch. So I was I finally found a font that is able to keep the letters connected. Like the issue that we had with the previous sign is when you cut like an O or a B or an A, the middle of the letter just drops out and you have to kind of like glue it back to whatever you're working on or figure out a way to add it back because otherwise it's just like an abyss. So I finally found a font that is able to cut everything and have the little parts still connected. So look at that. Okay, so next up we are going to test out the engraving abilities and see how it goes. We set the adjustable laser to precise mode for this test. Precise mode is perfect for engraving or fine details. The air assist is essential when engraving to help prevent charring and keep it looking clean and crisp. Really impressed with how this turned out. It's really clean and the detail is amazing. So we turn the laser back to normal mode for this because we will be engraving and cutting these custom keychains that will be part of the giveaway. Stick around until the end of the video to find out how to enter to win one of these. This is giving lightsaber vibes. May the force be with you. This is a little token of appreciation to all of our subscribers and viewers. Thank you so much for your support and don't forget to enter to win one of a few special custom made gifts. Hello and welcome back. Today we are still playing with the Creality 40 watt laser cutter slash engraver. And right now, basically what we are gonna do is test the power of the laser. So we are gonna test it on two different things. We're gonna test it on six millimeter acrylic and a piece of wood that I believe is about three quarter inch thick. So. We're gonna see if we can cut either of those in one pass, and if not, how long it takes. The 22 watt laser, I believe it for the three quarter inch wood, it took quite a few passes, like probably around like eight or something like that. So let's find out. We are gonna be cutting this piece of wood right here. Yeah, three quarter of inch. Okay, so this one right here. And we are gonna be testing out the spare sheet of acrylic that we got right there. I think it's yellow, so. We're gonna try that and see how it goes. Three, two, one, laser time. So we are making a fun and useful little item this time. It's simple and convenient. Wait until you see what it is. 
As you can see, it looks like it's cutting right through the acrylic. This is why the honeycomb and backplate are so great. They keep everything off the ground and the backplate protects the surface below. Cutting acrylic is pungent to say the least. It's really important to have good ventilation. The laser cut through the acrylic like butter. The pieces came right out with zero hesitation. You know what to do. I'm really happy with the outcome. This came out great and works perfect for tablets and smartphones. Everything's gonna be all right. Then we spent a good 40 minutes removing this stupid tape off the acrylic. We made the stand with a removable piece so it sits at two different angles. I love how they turned out and I know we will get great use out of them. Comment below and let me know if you guys would be interested in one of these. Then just for shits and gigs we made a few keychains out of the acrylic. So I am absolutely amazed it cut this six millimeter acrylic in one pass. One. And the cut is super clean. Yeah, it went really well. Now we have a little stand for our phone or our iPad or whatever. Pretty legit. Next up, I'm going to engrave this photo I took of Monument Valley from our van life days. Good times. So this is the results after one pass. I purposely set the settings really low because this was the first time that I ever tried to print a photo onto anything. So I wasn't sure. You can always do more, but you can't do less after it's done. So I'm gonna run it one more time with a little bit stronger settings to see if that kind of develops the photo a little bit more. It's always good to to go with the better safe than sorry situation. All right, so just gonna run it one more time and see what it does. Let's go. As you can see, the second pass really defines the image and develops the details. Okay, so now we are going to make a gift from one of my best friends. So we're going to engrave a quote onto this journal. Okay, this came out incredible. I love it. And I cannot wait to gift this to my friend. And next up on laser engraver experimentation, I am engraving some stainless steel coasters with our logo. The Creality Falcon engraves stainless really well. Just look how clean this came out. 
The discoloration is actually my fingerprint. Oops. So now we have to get a little creative with raising the machine up so we can fit the next project underneath the laser. So we actually ended up using mason jars to raise the machine. Gotta do what you gotta do. So we are setting up the roller because we are going to engrave a drink tumbler for another one of our giveaways. The roller is really easy to set up and it's great because you can engrave things with a rounded surface. Pacific Pines Ranch represent! Okay, so stay tuned until the end of the video to find out how to enter to win this stainless drink tumbler. All right, so don't forget to enter the giveaway if you would like to win this tumbler. Grind, mold, paint, repeat. You guys know what's up. Okay guys, the big test. Here we are trying to cut letters out of a three quarter inch piece of wood in one pass. So I lightly engraved the lettering before I tried to cut anything out to make sure the layout is good and all that jazz. Then I cranked that laser to 100% and let it lightsaber its way through the wood.
Hello, hello. So yesterday, as you saw, we ran out of time. It became night and we could not continue. But the good news is we finished the cutouts for the sign. Let me give you a little bit of backstory about this sign. The sign is for our very good friends. So it's a little gift that we are going to make for them. So here's how it turned out. As you saw, it cut a bunch, it cut the west completely out in one pass. And for whatever reason, the C and the L took a couple passes, but everything else pretty much came out in one pass, which was incredible considering this is quite thick. So we are gonna develop this sign further. This is not the final outcome. So wait and see what we do next. Why are you wearing the laser glasses? Safety glasses. <laughs> Safety first. That really put a nice little touch on the sign. And now I'm going to use my favorite stain, Jacko Bean, to stain the sign. After the sign dried for a little while, we hit it with some sealant. Okay, so I wanted to add a little tribute to the year on the sign, and I actually cut out these letters and then changed my mind and cut out the abbreviation for established instead. You live, you learn. All right, so now we are just flipping the sign over so that we can install the spacers and the back of the sign, which is gonna be kind of almost opaque white. So maybe the LED light will kind of like glow through the white a tiny bit. Set light. So you guys get the idea. So we're just gonna screw these into place first, I think. Okay, the final reveal. Well, not really, not final, but. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty, that is pretty awesome. Well, let's put the LED note to check it out. Yeah, for sure. Let's, maybe we should install the spacers first though. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. And if you're asking yourself, what are those whiteboards? Are those cutting boards? Indeed, they are. 
We got them at the discount section in Walmart for like a few dollars, so you couldn't beat it. They work perfect for what we need them to. Okie dokie, we just made some spacers right here. One pass, it cut that. Check that out. Three quarter of an inch. Yeah. So we are going to use those as spacers because we decided to make this sign battery powered just because I feel like it's a little bit more convenient. So we need to have the space to put this little battery pack behind. So obviously it's perfect right here. So that'll do. Now we're just going to connect these spacers to the sign and uh, then connect the LED light. You went through. Very cool. Amazing. And now time to put the LED. Stress level, 10,000. We got, we got it under control. The sign is a pretty wide variety of different colors. Comment below what your favorite color is. So far mine is the warm white. Wow.
Okay, you guys, here's how to enter to win one of these items. Comment Grindwell Paint Repeat to enter into the giveaway. Winner will be chosen in one week. Special thank you to Creality for sponsoring this video. Click the exclusive link in the description to purchase the Creality Falcon 2. And get creative with Creality. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on the ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and during the week, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.